Hello, this little video is going to show you how to calculate the area of a trapezium. Now a trapezium is a quadrilateral four-sided shape that has one pair of parallel sides. So if it's a right angled trapezium like this, the parallel sides are here where I've put the arrows and in an isosceles trapezium, that means it's got a line of symmetry, like an isosceles triangle, you can fold it in half. Well, this one, the parallel sides are clearly the ones that are never going to meet. Let me just try and get rid of my dotted line there. So the parallel sides are here. So a trapezium, um, there's two ways you can look at it. First of all, if you've watched the video on right angle triangles and the video on rectangles, you'll know that you can either pretend that the trapezium started life out as a rectangle and work out this length, if that was 12, and that's 8. But we know that because if it was a rectangle, opposite sides are equal and parallel, that one would be 8 as well. Now the whole thing from there to there is 12, but I'd need to know either that length or that one in order to work out the rectangle, subtract the triangle. So if I call that six, call them centimetres for now. Well, the rectangle would be length times width, which would be 12 times eight. So 12 times eight is 80 plus 16, which is 96 centimetres squared. The triangle here, if that whole thing is 12, that from there to there is 6, so that missing length there must also be 6. The triangle here is 6 times 8 is 48, but remember for the triangle, halve it. Base times height, 8 times 6 divided by 2. Watch the area of a triangle video if you don't know what I'm doing here. So that one will be 48 divided by 2 is 24. So I'm literally going to take that 24 centimetres squared, I'm taking it away from the rectangle. So 96 minus 24 is um, 72 centimetres squared. It is possible to work it out that way, but it's not very efficient. There's actually a formula and the formula is Here's a trapezium, let's say, I said that was six, that was 12, and that was eight. The formula is add up the parallel sides, so 12 plus six. After I've added those, I'm going to halve them, so divide it by two. And after I've done that, I've got to multiply it by the perpendicular height. So brackets first, 12 plus 6 is 18, so I'm doing a half of 18 equals 9, and 9 times 8 is 72, so 72 centimetres squared, which was what I got. So we add up the parallel sides, divide it by 2, and then multiply it by the perpendicular height. Let's have a look at another one. Here's a trapezium. The right angles are here. If that's 10, if that was 16, this distance here, I'm not going to tell you because I'd have to work that out using Pythagoras and I'm just making these numbers off the top of my head. So I'm just going to call this distance here I'm going to say is six. So let's have a look. Add the parallel sides. 10 plus 16 is 26. I have to halve it. Whenever there's a triangle involved, I'm always going to be doing something to do with half. So half of 26 is 13. And then I multiply 13. I've added those, halved it, and I times that by six. Um, 10 times 6 is 60, 3 sixes are 18, 78 centimetres squared. 
78 centimetres squared. So half the sum of the parallel sides times the perpendicular distance. Let's have a look at an isosceles trapezium. If I'm given some dimensions, remember from the other video, dimensions, just a fancy word for the length of the sides. Here's the parallel sides. If that one's 20 centimetres and that's 11 centimetres and the perpendicular height is, I'm going to call it eight centimetres. I'm not going to put some um, dimensions here because I'll probably get them wrong and I, I don't want to do that but sometimes you might have numbers here. I'm just going to put a squiggle. Don't use the slant sides for your calculation. Right, so half the sum of the parallel sides. Half the sum, so divide by two when you've added together the parallel sides. So you should be doing this in your head now before I actually write down the answer. So half the sum of the parallel sides, 11 plus 20 is 20, 31. Well, 31 divided by two, half of 30 is 15, half of one is 0.5, so it's 15.5. Oh, I have left myself a nasty. Well, 15.5 times the perpendicular distance. Perpendicular means it's the, the height that makes the right angle, the space between, the distance between the two parallel sides. 15.5 multiplied by eight. Well, I'm going to do that on my calculator because this probably would be on the calculator paper. So 15.5, oops, multiplied by eight gives me 124 centimetres squared. Hope you've got that. Well, let's have a look at one more and then you can have a go yourself. Oops, sorry about the squeak. You're going to get some more squeaking, worse squeaking than that. I'm going to sing to you in a minute. Let's have a look at this. If that's six and that's, let's call it 14 centimetres and let's have this as five centimetres. Well, half the sum of the parallel sides multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So half the sum of the parallel sides, 14 plus six is 20, half the sum, so 20 divided by two is 10, half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. So 10 times five, that is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. So that is how, so did you get that right? Did you get the 50 centimetres squared? I really hope so. Let's have a look. Half the sum of the parallel sides, 6 plus 14 is 20, half it is 10, times the space between them, that's 5, 10 times 5 is 50 centimetres squared. Hopefully you got that right. Now, let's have a look at one more. You can have a go at this, I'll leave the, I'll leave the little ditty up there. Here's a trapezium. You can use a calculator or not, I'll make the numbers easy, but the process will never change even if the numbers are nasty. Let's have this as four centimetres. Let's have the perpendicular height as um, seven centimetres and the parallel side to the four is 11 centimetres. So let's have a look how this goes. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. That is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. Let's have a look. 4 plus 11 is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. Multiply that by 7 and hopefully you get there before I do. 7 times 7.5 is 
is 52.5 centimetres squared. So you add up the parallel sides, multiply it by the space, the perpendicular distance between them. I'm going to put two or three up for you to have a go at, pause the video and check out whether you got it correct or not. So here's one trapezium. Um, let's have a look at calling that six centimetres, that's eight centimetres and that's 14. Here's an isosceles trapezium. Remember isosceles, just a fancy word for it, you can fold it in half. You can fold it in half. We'll have the parallel sides are here. So the height is, I don't know, nine centimetres. That length is 10 centimetres. And this length is 14 centimetres. Pause the video and have a go. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. That is how we calculate the area of a trapezium. Okay, you've had a go. Let's look at the answers. Half the sum of the parallel sides, so 14 plus 8 is um, 22. Half it is 11. So 14 plus 8 is 22. So I've got 11 centimetres. Half the sum of the parallel sides, so 11 times 6 is 66 centimetres squared hope you got that right. Let's have a look at the second one. Half the sum of the parallel sides. 14 plus 10 is 24. 24 divided by 2, that's half the sum, is 12. And then half the sum of the parallel sides times the space between them. So 12 times 9 is 108 centimetres squared. Well, I hope you got that right. There is another video on what you do when you're given the area and you have to find this distance here. So I'll be doing another video on the area of a trapezium where you have to calculate the missing height, the perpendicular height, the distance between them when you're given the area. But for now, for just finding the area of a trapezium, I really hope this helped and bye bye.